Okay, good morning everybody. Um, I'm currently up to the Christmas Day portion of Fuel the Fire and Krista and Becca Ritchie now follow me on Instagram as well as TikTok and the sun is out so I have a feeling today is going to be a very good day. Sorry, I've been super engrossed in my book today. Um, I'm on chapter 34 and we've just, and I remember actually I saw a TikTok about this the other day of when the new story regarding Connor is about to come out. Um, one that, oh, it's just, it's horrid. Honestly, it's horrid. Um, but so I've just had the part where, you know, Connor's calling all of the core six people and like, oh, it's like they literally like, they drop everything for one another. Like they're always, they're always there. But also like, you know, Connor is always like the very level headed one. He, you know, he will always have things sorted. So the fact that it's now him that needs all of them, like, you know, they've never actually been faced with that before. And that's kind of insane. Yeah, you're definitely getting like an even greater sense of his vulnerability in this book. It, uh. So I feel so bad because I feel like this is going to end up being a repeat of my Kiss the Sky reading vlog and it will be like as if I just do not care about Rose and Connor because obviously this is their book. Um, not at all. I've been tabbing some like extra important parts. Um, ones that I know that I'll want to go back to and obviously the whole calling everyone is one of those. Um, but yeah, don't worry. In December when this edition, uh, the Berkeley edition of this comes out and then uh, oh, it's literally the next one, Kiss the Sky. So then in, I think it's like May, that one comes out. I think it's May, hang on. Yeah, in May, I hope to have better reading vlogs for those when I will record me reading it at probably a more leisurely pace and tabbing it and underlining and stuff like that. Can I also say, I also, um, is there like a P.O. box available for me to send Connor Cobalt a book to annotate? And when I say a book, can that actually be 10 books? It's obviously this series. Um, <laughs> I, I love that part. But also the one for Reich almost seems like extra special. I mean, they're all special. They're all great. Also, the, the detail with the fact that um, he used post-it notes for Rose's one because hers was a like a, an older copy, like a more precious copy. Anyway, I'm going to continue reading now because I... I am so engrossed with this. Also, I've never used these headphones before until this past week with like the Bluetooth aspect to it. And I'm obsessed. I'm in love. Why didn't I do this before? Anyway, yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back to reading now because that's that's important. And then later on this afternoon, you can't see it, that's embarrassing. Later on this afternoon, I'll move on to Long Way Down. I think with two times reading speed is about 11 hours, I think. 
so I'll obviously be plan I'll obviously want to um, read a good chunk today so this is this one's 592 pages this is 520 so honestly it's actually not that not that different I didn't think it was all that different nobody asked but yeah I am so in love with this series it's insane but the thing is also with this one and some kind of perfect these Berkeley editions aren't coming out till next year and I'm like I'll just have to reread from these copies maybe a couple more times <laughs> uh, but yeah also I can't remember if I already said this I started freaking out over Christmas morning and Jane saying her first word like I was just like so cute it's also lovely um I say seeing I mean obviously you like imagine the people in the books um Jane and Moffy together is just so sweet so sweet also Connor I mean I feel like sometimes when people say like oh they're so, like you know a dad is actually involved in their children's lives so like oh he's a good dad but just like the way he talks about Jane like she is his entire universe is just it's so sweet especially coming from a man where literally from the get-go like well definitely like at the beginning at least and addicted to you he seemed very just not like the dad that he is and it's just really lovely but yes I'm going to get back to this now because um well because I need to know I need to know what happens I'm also still running off the high from this morning that Krista and Becca Ritchie now follow me on Instagram as well as TikTok I think it was about a month ago that they started following me on TikTok and I was I remember I was on a walk at the time and I was like which was insane but this morning I was literally I had just woken up I had just woken up my hair was a mess and I, one of those things you kind of have to check whether your jaw is still intact was how far my jaw dropped I was like there's no way there's no way I've already checked three times just to make sure oh anyway I keep doing that with these headphones I keep smacking the book and obviously it's like goes right into me log holes anyway must get back I can't remember if I ever showed you actually in my kiss the sky reading thing my Connor and Rose um bookmark so this is again this is a design from Kristen Arts on Instagram and I just printed it off onto photograph paper actually I don't think I ever showed you the one for um Rike and Daisy either I know I definitely show the one for Lily and Lo just because it'll be super quick I'll show you now in case I accidentally forget for the next one so this is the Rike and Daisy one I just think they're so sweet but then obviously after today this one will move into my copy of kiss the sky and then late tomorrow this one will move into my hot house flower book because then I will have it because I yesterday I moved my Lily and Lowe one back to addicted to you so it's kind of like they're always there waiting for me if I need them but yeah Got a dash. Toodaloo, people. Um, I've already said this many times before, but I hate Jonathan Hale. And I'm angry. I no, because that sounds bad, but also like Jonathan Hale. Reich had surgery to save this man's life. 
and he has completely destroyed me. His son, his donor's life and the livelihood of the people he cares about. And like, the ho it's all from insecurity. Like that's the thing with Jonathan, it's all insecurity. And it's just like, oh, just, I'm, I'm so mad. I'm on chapter 43. Um, obviously I, the whole thing like, where you find out that it's Jonathan was a while ago, but I was just so angry that I just needed to continue. But yeah, so now I've just been at the part where Rose, basically the hot tempered tri triad, triad, Rose, Lauren, and Reich are making pizza. I love these wholesome moments though, like of the house like I just love the whole thing of the different couples and the and now obviously like Jane and Mafia there as well like all of them together just like anyway I'm probably gonna finish this by about mm, let's say like half four maybe let's see if I actually beat that but yeah I've read oh, I've read this much and I've got this much left to go so I'm gonna go now. <sighs> so it is 22 minutes past four and I just finished about five minutes ago Feel the Fire. This is how much I ended up tabbing. Now remember I was like I'm not gonna be tabbing any of these. These signified tabs are like that I thought these have to be tabbed right now. Like there were other moments where I'm like oh I'm definitely gonna tab that later when I have the Berkeley edition and like things I would underline and stuff like that. But these are tabs on my, I must go back to them. Like if I go to one, um, one where it says, um, we're the Callaway sisters, Daisy proclaims, nudging my arm and then Lily's, we can do anything, right? And then definitely Lily and I say together, plus Willow, Daisy adds. And I just thought, like I was like, I just, there's things like that I'm like I just I need that tabbed now which means since this was Rose and Connor's last book like I said I would this bookmark now gets transferred into here which I mean it's not going to stay here because once I get my Berkeley edition it's going to sit in the Berkeley edition but this edition of Kiss the Sky is simply keeping it company for now now, and I probably sound like a maniac for doing this, but I do genuinely want to continue the story. I will be moving on to Long Way Down very shortly, but let's let's discuss. Um, I think we should know at this point that I will always give, I think, at least, at the very least, the Addicted Calloway Sister series books five stars every time. Like, of course, I'm always going to have read them, but there's almost like no point in me reading them before I give them the star rating. It's like they're always going to be five stars to me. So there's that. Um, let's see. I hate Jonathan Hale so much. Scott Van Scott Van Wright. He's a pig, um, and I'm so glad that he's now in jail. Um, I got misty eyed. I didn't fully cry, but I got misty eyed at um part with Daisy being out on the dock um and her having to explain to her sisters what's happening with her health wise and then when Rose says, you know, essentially like my body is here to have your children like you know and think and it makes me annoyed when pe I see people being like oh like Rose Calloway is like the worst out of the sisters I'm like like she is always there for her sisters and I don't understand yeah she's she's always there for her sisters and it's like 
I'm sorry, but like in my eyes, what she had just offered Daisy, like that's a really big deal. So I'm like, have people just not got to that part yet? And just think other things that Rose has done for her sister's been meh. I don't know. Um, I also got misty eyed at the end when Lily and Daisy are obviously upset about Cabal away moving out of their house after I literally said before oh my god I love how they're all in the same house but also realistically they were never going to be able to all stay in the same house I mean I already know that Rose and Connor do end up having quite a few children um and what Lily and Lo have four and Daisy and Wright have three so it's like they can't all be in the, the same house forever um when it says that they're just down the road, I sincerely hope they do mean just down the road and not like a 20 minute drive or something. Like I want them to be able to go to the houses very easily. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, I, I, did, I, I did love their times though when they were living together. That was really cool. Um, I mean, because that's the thing in Kiss the Sky, like I loved, like obviously I hated Scott, but I did also kind of like the idea that, you know, all, I say all the sisters, the three that we talk about the most, <laughs> the ones that we love the most. Oh, also Sam. I do not like Sam. It has to be said. Um, and then Poppy, when I was reading Thrive, I was like, oh, you know what, maybe like, because I never really thought much of Poppy and I was like, no, 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 like, I like her, like, she's cool. And I don't know. I don't know how I feel about her necessarily. Like, yes. I don't know. Sorry, I forgot to put my sign on my door saying that I was filming. <laughs> That's okay, though. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I'm a bit iffy on Poppy. It has to be said. I'm a bit iffy. Also, for some reason, she is a sister that I... Maybe it's because we don't see her as much. I struggle to picture her out of all the characters the most. It's really odd. Like, I do seriously struggle. So I'm just like... Mm. But yeah, I don't like Sam. I mean, definitely from um, Addicted After All. I, again, I didn't really... I didn't like him. It has to be said. You know, like when... <laughs> Uh, and addicted after all when Reich is being violently ill because of the awful um, fizzle sports drink that he had and then Sam was like no like we need to be covering this up and Greg for once seemed to actually have some some oomph behind him to say no no like he needs some medical attention it's just like it's like is this how Sam really is or has he just spent so many years of his life trying to prove himself to Greg Calloway that he's just turned a bit ass wipey. I don't know. Poor Connor in this book. Like, he went to hell and back. And uh, the guy in the gym who, who dropped the weight on Lowe's hand? <gasps> like, that's not okay. That is not cool. That is, but then I also did like the people being happy that the guy who did it left. I was like, yeah. So I'm just like, you absolute weirdo. <laughs> oh, I just remembered another part when I was on my walk. I love the part where um, uh, Lo and Connor had to go to um, Lucky's to get food for Reich. <laughs> come to his um I was gonna say hotel room his hospital room and he's this like his butt is like sticking out of like you know the um hospital gown and he's doing press ups on the floor and I'm just like of course that's what Wright Meadows is doing because that's the only logical thing to do is to just start doing press ups I'm like okay my man oh but yeah I know I said at the beginning of this, oh, like, you know, I'll make this an annual thing that I'll read these books. 
you know, once a year. And I'm like, I think it has to be at least twice a year. Not necessarily in this format again, where I'm reading a book a day, because I'm not going to lie. I think especially after some kind of perfect, like I almost feel like as if I sometimes can't process the books properly. Like, I feel like at the end of this, it would just feel like a fever dream. And I'm just like, no way did I read X amount of books in X amount of days, you know. And also, I don't know if it's, if I'm still having the effects of, um, what night was it? Monday night? Yeah, I think it was Monday night when I stayed up all night. Um, essentially, or I, I'd say 4.30 in the morning is pretty much all night. Um, reading Kiss the Sky. Yeah, because that's right, because I finished Addicted for Now. And then I just moved straight on to Kiss the Sky. I just... I want to be able to one day kind of read these books again, but probably do them at a more leisurely pace. Because I don't mean to be competitive, because it's, it's not a competition or anything, but like, part of me is like, come on, Rowena, like you, you need to, like, it's not me <laughs> competing against Hayley and Zoe. That's utterly ridiculous. It's more so me kind of being in competition with myself and challenging myself because, you know, when, Hayley said you know we're gonna try to do a book a day I was like no there's no I I can't do that like I won't be able to do that and so I'm now just so determined to actually do a book a day that I'm perhaps not processing the books as much as I would have wanted to but then also part of that maybe is because I've not done the whole tabbing and underlining of them um like I did with Addicted to You and Ricochet but that time, that time will come. Um, but yeah. I hope that didn't sound too like, uh, like I hate that I've read them so quickly. Part of me is kind of like, do I wish that maybe I had already read them once before and then did this whole format of um, just going boom, 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 boom. In a way, yes. But... Also, I do have to remind myself, like, you know, because I did reread Addicted to You, Ricochet, Addicted for Now, Hot House Flower, and why I always end up missing one. Did I miss out Kiss the Sky? Hold on. From Addicted to You to Hot House Flower, I reread those and. It did not bother me at all. Usually, if I've tried to reread a book, I've ended up failing after like the third chapter. I'm just like, nah, I can't do this. But these books, these books, easy, easy. Um, but yeah, big pardon. So I'm going to start long way down. And I've already seen one person who I follow on Instagram. She read this book fairly recently and she was like, you know, it's like my heart is breaking. And I'm like, oh. but then I don't know if she's particularly a crazy girl, you know, like for me, um, when I read Addicted After All yesterday and Lily's labor scene, I cried. I cried because it was a part of like, oh, so something was going wrong, I think. Mm. Anyway, we need to we need to wrap this up so I can move on to Long Way Down, which also means now on my bookshelf next to me, I need to put some kind of perfect because the reality is late tomorrow I'll start reading some kind of perfect. And that's such a weird thing for me to think because that will be me kind of saying goodbye to them now as I know them. And part of me thinks I was probably, I will never be ready for that. Which might sound ridiculous, but I think because for so long I've been procrastinating it, 
I'm just like, there's no way that it's happening. But then again, maybe the fact that I'm then swiftly moving on to the Bad Reputation duet and then um, Circus's Family and then the Like Us series. So obviously I then get to see the core six again, but as parents, um, that, it, that it will be okay. Because that's the thing, some people they don't move on to the Like Us series, they just stop at some kind of perfect. So maybe that's why some people cry more. I don't know, I guess we shall, we shall see. But also I'm, I don't know if I would necessarily feel myself a lot crying. I've said this a couple times before. Um, I'm very much a Rose Calloway when it comes to my emotions. So I relate to her a lot when it comes to kind of always being a bit guarded. But yes, I'm about to pop these back. <laughs> pop these back on my bookshelf over there of my red books. And so I shall now move on to this one. So thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and I hope seeing my face didn't make it worse for you. Okay now, bye!